Hey Gemini, I hope y'all are doing well today. Uh, this is going to be your general reading for the next three days. Any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. I do have personals um, open right now. I have a deal going on up until the end of June. You can get a two question recorded video reading for $10, okay? Um, also, there's a Patreon deal going on where if you join my Patreon page, you can ask me those two questions and get access to all that content over there that I post for each sign. So if y'all are interested in that, uh, the details are down in the description box. I just wanted to let you guys know since both of those are only open until the end of June, this is very weird. Um, you guys have a lot of positives here, but you also have positives in the reverse position. Um, the overall energy is the Nine of Pentacles, so this is stability, this is independence, it's comfort, it's support, uh, building a garden, and what do I feel, even though this is an energy of independence, I feel like you could have a lot of help here, okay, or help is coming in, it's almost like some of you, you could be building that village, you know, um, so it's very interesting, very interesting, I feel like you're moving into a really positive spot, however, you do have the Two of Cups reversed, so some of you, there's a disconnect within the next three days, somebody could have Venus in Virgo or Venus in Cancer, what's going on with this Two of Cups in the reverse position? for Gemini, please. The Empress, some of you disconnect from a mother or there's been a disconnect from a mother. There could be some coming out of that here. There's a Taurus energy uh, as well as Libra. But there's growth through <laughs> there's growth through disconnecting. Some of you, this could just be simply unplugging. You know, like um, you know, there's a lot going on in the world right now. Maybe just not watching the news or not being on social media. Maybe it's something like that. I know I have to do that from time to time. It's just, it gets exhausting. It really does. So, um, you know, I never watch the news if I'm being honest. But social media, I take a break from pretty often but I know what the news is designed to do you know so yeah um, you have the moon reverse so um, the moon can be hidden things it can be um, it can talk about your intentions your or not your intentions um, very interesting though some of you could be setting intentions here around the new moon um, to grow to disconnect to have the courage to disconnect from certain people um, but you know the moon can talk about your uh, intuition, your instincts, um, hidden things, emotions, for a, you're letting go of a lot here. You're letting go of a lot here. You're growing a lot. The problem though is that you have this six of swords reverse. So I don't want to say you're struggling to move on, but that is how it feels to me. Um, what's going on with this? Five, oh yeah, you're looking back at something. Five of swords. It's like the six of swords energy is here, but you're in the five of swords. Ace of Wands reverse. Um, it's like there are good things in front of you here, Gemini, but you can't see it. Like I feel like you've been in the dark for so long that moving out, you're moving out of the dark at this time, and it's hard to believe that it's even happening. Some of you are still fixated on all the bad things or all the things that could go wrong. Some of you were raised that way. Okay, what else is happening here with this energy? Um, it's like, well, I really want to move forward, and that sounds very nice in theory, but. <laughs> look at all the bad things that could happen. An earthquake could happen. Like there's just a lot of that energy going on here. Six of cups reversed. I feel like it's gonna be a time in the next three days where you're trying to figure out where this energy comes from, this energy that holds you back or stops you from seeing the good because for some of you, you've already made that move forward and now there's there are these questions about it. You have the king of wands reversed, Leo energy. Just kind of lacking confidence and maybe that was taken from you very early on. What's going on with that? The Hermit, yeah, Virgo energy, learned to isolate, learn to be on your own. Um, some of you just learning, learn things on your own here. Uh, Eight of Pentacles, but I feel like you still took on a part of that energy from people around you that played it safe. Um, Nine of Swords showing up as well, Mars and Gemini. And now I think it's a time where you're waking up to that. You're like, why can't I see the opportunities? You know, why, why don't I, some of you, it's like you're, in this space where it's like, well, I don't have the same opportunities. And now it's like, well, maybe I don't see the opportunities because you really want to have this four of wands. Uh, you really want to have this nine of pentacles and you can have it. It may be a little bit harder for you than others though, okay? Um, Venus and Aries with that four of wands energy, two of wands, okay? World in his hands there, moving forward. So yeah, I feel like you guys, like I said, you know, that nine of swords energy, it's very dark and I think you've been in the dark for a lot longer than you realize. Some of you, it's like maybe you thought hitting adulthood, that was really hard and, you know, uh, that took a toll on you, but I think that it goes back way further than that. So I feel like that's something you could be realizing. Just trying to unlearn a lot of things, basically. What else do we have under that four of wands? Okay. Let's do it here. Eight of swords. 
Jupiter in Gemini, Seven of Wands reversed, Mars in Leo, King of Cups reversed, uh, Scorpio, Six of Swords reversed again. Um, somebody could have Mercury in uh, Mercury in Aquarius, Moon in Cancer. Um, we have the Page of Pentacles too. Four of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you're clearing a lot of blockages here. Some of you could be doing this with the new moon. You have the Seven of Wands in the reverse position here. Um, so yeah, I feel like you are clearing these blockages. King of Cups reverse though, I don't feel as you being, um, you know, in a horrible space emotionally. I mainly feel if this is you figuring things out, this is you exploring the depths of the not so good emotions, you know, um, so you can feel those good ones. So you can move out of this Six of Swords reverse kind of energy where you're afraid to accept a blessing. Some of you, it's like you're not used to things. You're not used to the Four of Wands. You're not used to the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. So you can't trust it. Like you're in a space where you don't trust it. Four of Cups, you're not welcoming it in. Um, you know, you're just kind of looking at it like, yeah, that seems nice, but it's too good to be true. And I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like this is something you definitely deserve. You have the Six of Wands uh, reverse. Yeah, this is absolutely something you guys don't want to miss out on here. Somebody could have Jupiter in Leo. Three of Swords reverse. Good. You're learning what to prioritize here and what not to prioritize. It's like if a thought comes in and it's not so great, or if an emotion comes in and it's not so great, it's just like, okay, well, that's there. You know, I'm going to acknowledge that it's there, but I'm not going to let it overcome me. I'm not going to let it ruin my Four of Wands. I'm not going to let it ruin my moment here, right? Three of Swords reverse because that's part of your healing here, and it takes great concentration. Ten of Wands, it takes a lot of work to do this, but the next three days you're focusing on that. You have the lovers in the reverse position. Uh, that's your energy. What else is happening here? What's happening with the lovers in the next three days for Gemini? Four of Swords, moving into a space of gratitude because what else can you do? What else can you do? I mean, we can work on improving things, but at the same time, we still have to see the good. We still can't take the good things for granted, and there are good things around you here. Six of Pentacles, so I feel like you're investing in those. You're trying to feed those positive thoughts, those positive emotions, and grow them, not because you're afraid of negative emotions, not because you're afraid of negative thoughts, but because they're tiring, they're exhausting, and you know sometimes your mind and your heart deserve a break. Somebody could have a Moon in Taurus or a Moon in Libra here. You have the Three of Cups in the reverse position. Some of you are disconnecting from a toxic social group. Um, or from a toxic conversation, you're just removing yourself from the conversation. I see that happening for some of you. Like you're learning what it is that's putting you in a bad headspace, and you're learning how to remove yourself from that. Six of Pentacles reverse, how to stop investing in it um, and feeding it. You know, it's like feeding a troll here. So some of you, you could have some issues online. What's going on with Six of Pentacles reverse? Will of Fortune, and that could be why some of you choose to unplug, disconnect. Uh, we have Sagittarius, Pisces, and fixed energy. Here we have Gemini again. You're ending certain things here with the Ten of Swords. It doesn't really hurt, though, I feel. I feel like you know that this is for the best now. And the Wheel of Fortune, you are recycling your energy into something new. Eight of Cups in the reverse position. Um, you're backtracking, though, I feel. Uh, you're backtracking. Not really returning to situations, but just going back over certain experiences that you've had here to figure out why it's put you in this position to react and respond to things the way that you do. You have the Two of Swords reverse, Moon and Libra energy. Why it's caused you to not trust yourself. Why it's caused you to not trust certain paths. Why it's caused you to see pebbles as mountains. What's going on with the Two of Swords? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, because it's caused you to miss out on a lot here. Ten of Cups reversed. It's caused a lot of unhappiness in your home and your family. And Knight of Pentacles. It's caused you to be too cautious with your truth and too cautious, um, you know, with the moves that you're making. So I feel like that's an energy that you are about to move out of. And it's not going to all be undone. Everything's not going to be unlearned and the good habits be learned within the next three days, you know. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's one of those things that's going to take some time, but you're making a lot of progress. You have the Page of Cups reversed. What's going on with the Page of Cups in the reverse position? Some of you felt like something was gone. It had slipped away from you. The fish jumping out of the cup there uh, is indication of that. Some of you are going to disconnect from a water sign here for a bit. Um, but yeah, you know, the Page of Cups being in the reverse position, you're like, maybe I can salvage that in some way. Maybe I can heal that in some way. You have the Two of Pentacles here. So yeah, I feel like you're managing. I mean, you've got the waves rising and falling in the background. So I feel like it could be a little bit of an emotional roller coaster. Obviously, you're exploring some deep things here. Uh, Queen of Wands in the reverse position. Uh, it's also a ride back to, you know, being in a more confident position. Like, I, I feel as if some of you could have buried a lot of things that made you confident, that made you feel good about who you were, you know. And I feel like it, it stems back to, it dates back to what we were talking about earlier here, basically. Um, you know, all the way back to childhood, just being taught to bury certain things. 
So yeah, I feel like that's something that you're trying to retrieve here. You're realizing that you can retrieve that Queen of Cups in the reverse position here. No longer tiptoeing around uh, other people's emotions, you know, no longer hiding your own to tiptoe around theirs and make them comfortable. Knight of Swords, but you're figuring out how to balance that with not being too aggressive. Um, with your communication, you have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse position. No more waiting on things that are not giving back to you. No more trying to, you know, um, make situations fit that are resisting. You know, you have the Nine of Cups right here as well. Only welcoming things that are supportive of, you know, your or vision of the path that you want to go down here. So I love that for you, Gemini. I hope it was helpful. Feel free to watch out for your other signs and for the collective readings that I did there for all 12 signs. So you may find a message in there for you. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching and supporting me this far. I really appreciate you and you enjoy your next three days. Bye.